Yeah, Derek, a, a lot of running backs have struggled against this, this Colts defense. You seem to have found some success. What stands out to you about what they're able to do uh, against the rushing attack? Um, <clears throat> I just think they they play very hard. You know, um, they fly to the ball. Um, just guys that play great together collectively. Um, good tacklers, I think. And, you know, they all run their scheme very well. It's all overall great defense. And as we get to this point going forward, it's always, especially over the last couple of years, you're the guy that, that kind of has to carry this team to to the playoffs. Is there something that kind of ticks and, and just makes it makes the switch go on or, or anything like that? Um, I think we just have that mindset of it that it's playoff football right now and just be locked in um, uh, every week and go out to practice when you're in meetings, you know, pay attention to details, the little things, and then working them out there when you're on the field, you know, all together. Just so, you know, we playing the way we want to in all three phases. Appreciate it. Uh, Tim? Derek, I know you're always quick to praise your old lineman, but it, it, when you look back and watch film of Sunday and, and seeing Quisenberry and Brewer and banged up Ben Jones out there, I mean, how good of a job did those guys do Sunday, and, and how do you view your offensive line and their performance throughout the course of this year? Um, did a great job. No hesitation. Came right in and um, did, did what they had to do to uh, make sure that we had success in the run game and um, in the pass game. Um, play well. You know, they practice hard, so it is translated to the game. And um, that's just, you know, speak volumes for that room, how they approach each and every day. You know, Coach Keith, while they're working and um, practice on finishing, you know, the man in front of them. And those guys did a great job in the game, and I look forward to you know going to battle with them on Sunday. Uh, Joe Rusher. Yeah, actually, following up on that, Derek, on, on the touchdown run in particular, I don't know if you look, go back and look at these the same way the old line room does, but the Brewer and uh, Questenberry got the key blocks early on that run. What did you think of just that, and and the overall blocking on that play from everyone? I mean, you could just uh, see it on the film. I mean, I know it was all over the internet, you know. I think that was everybody just block and, and finish their man. Um, and I just had to go out there and um, do my job. Um, you know, I don't take all the credit because you know, those, those guys blocked their behind off. So, you know, I just had to go out there, make my read, um, make a cut, and, you know, get north and south. And when it happened, those guys in front of me, and I um, definitely appreciate them, and they, they deserve all the credit. Uh, Terry? Uh, Derek, along those lines, you've you been talking about the offensive line, but uh, on that last touchdown run, you guys also overloaded the left side by putting both tight ends over there. And then earlier in the game, you had had a big run, running behind Corey Davis and uh, Jeff Swain. How, talk a little bit about the the blocking of the tight ends and the receivers, especially with uh, some of the offensive line guys uh, going down and having to use backups. I um, did a great job. Um, you know, uh, just kept you know blocking great. Uh, you know, focus on um, being better than in the guy that they were that they were blocking and. Um, you know, just playing well for us and, you know, always give those guys credit. Uh, you know, that's what they what they always do, you know, even though sometimes it might not be going the way we wanted to in the run game, but we just stuck with it, um, kept pushing downfield and, you know, try to make plays um, when they were there. Like I said, I definitely appreciate those guys and they come to work and, you know, do a great job every week. Everybody talks a lot about how, Corey is a really good blocker. How much has John U improved as a blocker in the last couple of years? Uh, I think those guys just, just take pride in it and, you know, and having that want to to do it. And, you know, it's just the type of players they are. Do anything they can, you know, help the team, whether it's blocking, catching passes, or whatever else they have to do. You know, I'm glad those guys are my teammates and, you know, 
a lot of my success, you know, come from those guys just doing their job as far as blocking and, um, you know, glad they you know, do a great job for us and glad to have them on my team. Uh, Buck? Hey, Derek, you, you've obviously gone against a, a lot of good inside linebackers over the course of your career, but with, with Leonard, what, what stands out about his skill set and, and how he kind of makes that defense go? Yeah, it's always great to go against um, Paris Leonard. You know, I know he's going to play hard every time, every down. Um, like he's a, you know, the general of the defense, um, flies to the ball, tries to get the ball out, physical, just a all around uh, great linebacker, you know, one of the best in the league. Uh, John Gunner. Hey, Derek, as a guy who, who knows a thing or two about uh, yards after contact, I wondered what your evaluation of uh, A.J. Brown was uh, on that touchdown catch where he, uh, he, you know, broke three or four tackles to get into the end zone. Yeah, beast. And ain't nowhere else to put it. A.J.'s a beast. Um, we've seen it. And that play right there just, you know, speaks for itself. He's a beast. Cool. And then um, one other question for you. I, I guess the um, audio of the little exchange, uh, pregame exchange between Harbaugh and, and Vrabel uh, came out today. And, and Harbaugh was kind of quoted as saying it was disrespectful, you know, for the other team to be in the, that midfield on their logo and so forth. Um, I know that's pretty common for you guys. Where, where did that start? And, and do you see it as a, as a big deal uh, in, in terms of opponents getting bothered by that? Um, I think that's something that, you know, they've always done here, even before I got here. When I got here, you know, they were doing it. I don't think it's just no disrespect to the opponent. I think just what we do, we just always break it down. Um, uh, we, we did it in the playoffs. We played them uh, well, it was this year, but when we played them in the playoffs, we did it. I mean, we do it, you know, every away game, every home game. I think it's just something that we do. So, um, there's no disrespect to you know, our opponent, we're just breaking it down, just something that we do, I guess we call it tradition that we do each and every game. So, I mean, we, I don't think we're trying to disrespect them, but, you know, it is, it is what it is. And, you know. Cool. Thank you. Uh, David Buckler. Eric, understanding that winning games is what matters to you. Do you pay any attention to Dalvin Cook these days and what he's doing and how you guys are, are matching up in the, in the rushing race? Uh, that, that was having a phenomenal season right now. So he was uh, the best back in football just week after week, just always dominating, always having a great game, um, running the ball, catching the ball, very explosive. Love watching them uh, run on film and, you know, doing a great job this year. You know, that guy has just been incredible the whole year. Runs hard, runs through tackles, makes guys miss. It's just been balling. Uh, Paul, I'm sorry. Does that does that motivate you? I mean, are you trying to keep keep up with him in any way? I'm worried about what we do as a team and how we play week in and week out. Can't worry about what somebody else does. Just give them credit for how they're playing and you know the success that they're having. Uh, Paul. How conscious are you, Derek, of, of, of opposing personnel? I know the game plan focuses on some of that, but say a linebacker goes out and a replacement is in uh, and, and Arthur's calling plays to, to go towards somebody. Are you conscious of that or you just go, go, go with the flow or are you looking at a guy thinking that that's a weak link that I should be able to beat? No, just going with what's called as part of the executing. I really worry about too much. You know, just take one play at a time and go out there, execute what's called. 